I really like to speculate on who I think is going to be the winner of Splatfest, who's going to be the most popular, who am I choosing and why. In fact, I have a bit of a series on my channel where every time a new Splatfest gets announced, I put out a video about we already know who's winning X Splatfest. And I want to do that, but with Splatoon 1 and 2. Let me explain. I started Splatoon on Splatoon 3, so I've missed out on a lot of Splatfest. I didn't experience any of them from Splatoon 1 or 2. In fact, I haven't seen any of them except for that one where it's like gold and silver, really pretty, but I don't know anything about them. So what I did is I actually asked Nathaniel Smith, and he so very kindly agreed to send me a list of every single Splatfest without spoilers. He listed everything out, the question, which idol represented which team, and I'm going to go through each and every one of them, and I'm going to pick which one I would have personally chosen and also talk about who I think would win. And I guess we'll see if I would have been right. We're going to be starting with all the Splatfests from Splatoon 1 for this particular video. I'm going to do a follow up for Splatoon 2 and then some other follow ups about other Splatfests that happened around the rest of the world. But this one we're going to be focused exclusively on Splatoon 1. It's going to be a good time. This is LED of LED Games. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. First and foremost, there's only two options, which is weird for me who started on Splatoon 3 where there's always three options and now it's just one or the other. It's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie, and it might make things a little bit harder for me. We'll see. So I'm gonna assume that this list is in order because it's Nate, because it's Nate. Uh, and I'm just gonna start off with the first question, which is what is your favorite animal? We have cats, which is represented by Callie. So I guess C and C alliteration. And then we have dogs, which is represented by Marie. So this is interesting. This one was not exclusive to North America. It was in other countries as well. So off of first initial impressions, my choice would have been for cats, but really only because I happen to own a cat. I like dogs and cats equally. Just saying, I, I think they're both really lovely. I just happen to have one. So then therefore cats win, whatever. So. <laughs> As far as who would win most popular though, this is really hard actually. I feel like I have to say cats because I'm on the internet, but then in reality, I think in like everyday life, dogs are more popular. So what am I going to go with? The internet answer or the real life answer? I think I have to go with cats. I think I have to go with cats. They would, they would be the most popular animal, right? Okay, so I just looked it up because, like I said, I don't want any spoilers, and so I'm gonna make the prediction and then I'll look up the actual Splatfest. So it looks like cats were orange and dogs were like this really pretty blue color, which kind of would have probably made things hard for me because I really like that color blue. Yeah, let's see. Okay, I would have been wrong. <laughs> I would have been wrong. I would have been wrong. Dogs win the most popular. And here's the thing. Now that I'm looking at the ink color, like I kind of, I, I mean, honestly, this was kind of a toss up. Like I said, it's either the internet reaction or the real life reaction. And I guess at the time dogs definitely would have won. So I would have, I would have lost the bet, but apparently cat still won uh, and wins, which is pretty cool. But yeah, dogs ended up winning that spot fest. So I guess I have gotten one wrong already. Great start to the video. Let's go on ahead to the next question. So what is your favored thrill ride? We have roller coasters versus water slides. Callie represents roller coasters and Marie represents water slides. Me personally, I would choose water slides over roller coaster. As far as what would be the most popular though. Ooh, also when did this Splatfest happen? See, there's some context I feel like I'm missing out on, which is unfortunate. Like I don't get to see the color and I don't see the time of year. I feel like that messes with things a little bit, but hmm. Let's see, roller coasters or water slides? I feel like roller coasters has to win. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that roller coasters have to win. Let me look it up really quick. All right, so I just looked it up I look, and I see the colors. I'm not looking at who won. I see that roller coasters were green and water slides were like this dark 
navy blue. Just based off of looking at it, I have a feeling that roller coasters would have won, but again, I would have chosen water slides. Let's see if I was right. I was not right. <laughs> I was not right, no. Oh my gosh, this is not boating well for me at all. Water slides won uh, 54% to 46%, interesting. All right, so what is your preferred campout food? Marshmallows, which is represented by Callie, and Marie, which is represented by hot dogs. This is really hard for me because I don't eat marshmallows and I really don't eat hot dogs, so I don't like this splat fest. I don't like it, personally. I would choose neither. So, <laughs> like straight up, I don't eat marshmallows at all. But what would be the most popular? So this is unique to North America. Hmm. Who would win most popular? Let me go look at the colors without spoiling myself. My first, okay, my first instinct is that marshmallows would have won most popular, but let's go look at the colors. I'm not looking at the results. I'm just looking at the color. I have my hand up. Okay, so it looks like marshmallows is a red and hot dogs is a green. My guess is that marshmallows is gonna win most popular. That's my guess, that's my prediction. Again, I have zero interest in either of these teams, so I'm not picking either, I don't care. Okay, and yes, Marshmallows did win, amazing. <laughs> we love to see it, very happy about this. Great, my first win is on the board. Let's keep it up. Well, unfortunately for me, I don't know anything about this next one. I don't care about this next one. I am honestly, this one is kind of like a bit of a capsule in time. The question is, what is better? And it's a collaboration with Transformers, either Autobots or Decepticons. Callie represents Autobots and Marie represents Decepticons. And I mean, I guess the Decepticons are the ones that are bad because I think they're deceitful, deceptive, right? And uh, so I'm gonna guess that the good guys are gonna win, right? Right? Unless they don't. Whatever, I really don't care about this. I'm gonna just say Autobots are gonna win. I have no opinion, I'm not picking one, but those are the most popular. Okay, and I'm looking at the colors. The Autobots are like a reddish color, and the Decepticons are purple. Everything seems pretty straightforward. Again, my guess is that the good guys would win, I guess, but like, I really don't care. Let's see. So the Autobots won most popular, but it looks like the Decepticons won a lot, so they still technically won the Splatfest, but I would have been right that the Autobots would have been most popular. Whatever. I think that's such... I... This is one of the least interesting Splatfests for me personally. Let's move. All right, so the next Splatfest is which subject is better? Art, which is represented by Callie, and science, which is represented by Marie. And I have a caveat to mention before I actually give my opinions on this, which is that I firmly believe in STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math because I believe that every single subject has its place and its importance, and that includes both art and science. I don't think that we should be pitting them against one another. In fact, they actually complement each other quite well. That's a whole other conversation, but I did wanna mention it because I don't know if I like this framing personally, but if I had to choose, I guess, I guess I would technically pick art, I suppose. it's. Neither here nor there, but I guess I would technically pick art. And then as far as what's most popular, it would probably be art. But again, like, <laughs> I, I still think that both are equally important. Let me look into it really quickly. All right, so I'm looking at the colors. I'm not looking at the winner. It looks like art is purple and science is this like really pretty kind of like sunset orange color. My my thoughts still stand that I think the art would be the most popular, but who knows? Let's see. Yep. Yeah, so art won most popular. They also had the most wins, and so then art won overall. But still, both are equally important, guys. All right, so next is 
which mode of transportation is better? Cars, which is represented by Cali, again with another CC alliteration. And then Marie is on team planes. So this is kind of a weird one in my opinion because obviously we use cars more often than we do planes, but that's not really the answer to the question about which is better. I guess, okay, hypothetically, if I was gonna go on a long term mm, traveling, if I was gonna travel for a long period of time, I would obviously rather take a plane than I would a car, but I use a car more often than I do a plane. So, I don't know, I don't know. Let me go look at the colors really quickly. Okay, it looks like cars is orange and planes is blue. I feel like that would kind of swing it a little bit. Actually, same for the pictures. Like, what is that car? That car is kind of ugly. If there was like a nicer looking car, then maybe cars would be more popular, but just based off the picture alone, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess that planes is gonna win most popular. And I, but I personally would probably just pick cars because it's again, what I use most often. So let's see who won. Okay, so it looks like planes did win most popular, but they didn't win the overall Splatfest because I guess cars got more wins, but it is what it is. I guess I'll take the win on that one technically. Yeah, I guess I'll take the win on that one. All right, next we got which quote unquote job is better? We have pirates, which is represented by Kali, and we have ninjas, which is represented by Marie. And I actually really like this one. You know why? Because I'm a really big One Piece fan, and so come on, I have to go pirates. I would definitely go pirates, no question about it. As far as who would win though, so, hmm. I don't know which would win most popular. I feel very blinded by the pirates. I feel very blinded by them. I feel like I feel like it would be kind of like even. My gut actually says that ninjas would be more popular than pirates though. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I would fight really hard for pirates and I would hope that they would win, I have a feeling that ninjas would pull it out, but let's see uh, what the colors were. Maybe that would have helped in some sort of way. All right, so this is actually what I thought kind of what I thought it was gonna look like. I knew that the ninjas were gonna be like a purple color. I just had a feeling, and I think that looks really cool. I feel like it looks really nice. And then the pirates are green, I guess. So, okay, yeah, my original statement still stands. I think that ninjas would be m the most popular, but I would pick pirates. And yeah, by a long shot, ninjas win the most popular, but I would have still fought it out for the pirate generation. <laughs> All right, and the next one is which food is better? Burgers, which is represented by Callie, and pizza, which is represented by Marie. And I I have a pretty strong opinion on this. I would say burgers. I'm not a huge pizza person, even though, I mean, I'll eat pizza once in a while, but I would probably choose a burger over pizza, just in general. So I would choose burgers personally. As far as what would win most popular though, I'm gonna guess pizza. Yeah, and it looks like Burgers is this orange color and pizza is like this green color. So let's go ahead and see what would win most popular. Yeah, yeah, so pizza won by a lot actually. So uh, yeah, I would have been right about that. Um, but it also looks like burgers won overall. So yeah, I was right on both fronts. Great, you love to see it. The next question is, which are you for Christmas time? Naughty, which is Callie, and nice, which is Marie. I don't feel like I want to answer this question. No. <laughs> Actually, how about you guys tell me, what do you guys think I would be, naughty or nice? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I would pick nice, but like a part of me wants to pick naughty just because. So anyway, and I think that that urge to pick naughty is why I would also say that maybe it would win just because people are just like that? I don't know. I'm gonna still say that nice would win most popular. I would probably pick nice myself. Is that weird? I feel weird. I feel like that would be weird to pick nice for yourself. So I'd probably pick naughty actually, just, just because. So let's see. All right, so it looks like, oh my God, I love the pictures. It looks like naughty is this red color and nice is this green color. Both are so cute actually. 
Um, this is hard for me, actually. This is a really fun Splatfest idea. I love it. I'm gonna pick Naughty, but I feel like Nice is gonna win. Yeah, so Nice did win the most popular, but this was a really fun concept. I really like this particular Splatfest idea, and it looks like Naughty did win overall, but yeah, uh, Nice did win most popular. I, yeah, this is a fun one. Okay, now we're getting quite philosophical, actually. Which time would you rather travel to, past or future? Huh, so... My own personal choice is I would most likely choose to travel to the past. And I say that because I think I have questions about certain things that I would like to see play out. Uh, and I think it would bring a lot of insight into like how I currently live my life. And what I mean by past, I don't mean my personal past. I'm more so interested in like a historical past that's not necessarily related to me. Although it would be really cool to like see like my family and like what they've been through. I think that would be really amazing uh, for a lot of reasons. So yeah, I would pick past personally. Do I think that it would be the most popular though? Probably not. I have a feeling a lot of people want to see the future, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's go look at the colors and see. It's really interesting to me to see how the art style for Splatfest have changed throughout time. I really love the current art style. There's something about this that like is somewhat similar to what we currently have, but it's a little bit more uh, cartoonish or like more uh, abstracted than what we currently have. So anyway, based off of the colors and just the overall art style, I still think that Future would win most popular, but my comments still stand. I, I would personally pick Past, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, so Future definitely won most popular, that's for sure, um, but it does look like Past won overall, so Another win for me, I'll take it. Interesting, another Pokemon collab. Which is the better game, Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue? I would pick Pokemon Blue because I like the color blue, I like Blastoise, I like Squirtle. I would definitely be a blue, or I would definitely be water or grass over fire, but I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think blue is the most popular. I think red's gonna be the most popular, let's see. Yeah, no surprises here. So red was the most popular. I don't know who won though. Let me scroll down. It looks like, oh, it looks like, again, again, I'm right on all fronts. Red was the most popular, but blue won overall. Let's go. Which is a better thing to make, a snowman or a sandcastle? I don't like the winter time, so sandcastle, I don't know what's gonna be the most popular though, to be completely honest with you. I think I'm I think I'm gonna say Sandcastle would be the most popular. I I don't know for no reason other than just It's a guess. So it looks like Snowman is blue and Sandcastle is yellow. Let's see what one most popular. It looks like I was wrong on this front. That Snowman was the most popular by like actually not that much of a margin, but Whatever, that's fine, I can be wrong about one. But Sandcastle did win overall, so that's something, I suppose. Okay, and we got another collab. We have which is better SpongeBob edition. We have SpongeBob versus Patrick. And I feel like this is a no-brainer. SpongeBob is gonna win. I mean, they're literally the main character of the show, unless, <laughs> unless it was like a meme and I didn't know because it happened like what in 2015 or something so let's yeah 2016 so let's see so unsurprisingly Spongebob is yellow and Patrick is pink maybe people picked pink because it's pink it's a very lovely color but I still think that Spongebob won most popular and yeah uh, he did so not surprised by that but I guess curveball, it looks like Patrick won overall, interestingly enough. All right, and then we have which type of party is better? And this was apparently a collab with Me Tomo, which I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look at the art style in a minute. And you get to choose between Fancy Party, which was on Callie's side, and Costume Party, which was Marie's side. So 
I, okay, just personally, I would probably pick Fancy Party. I'm not super into costumes. I don't really like Halloween that much. I know that's probably a hot take, but I guess if I had to pick one, it would be Fancy Party because I would rather wear a fancy dress than a costume. That's just me personally. So uh, who would win though? I, I'm gonna guess Costume Party would win, but I would personally go with Fancy Party. Let's see. Uh, the art style? <laughs> the art style, though. Wow. Yeah, I would definitely pick Fancy Party. It's blue. Look at that outfit. So cute. And the hot dog outfit is a decision. So what was most popular? Yeah, it was Fancy Party. Come on, the art kind of <laughs> threw it there. Who wants to dress up like a hot dog? Not me, personally. But yeah, so... <laughs> and Fancy Party won overall. Great. Love to see it. Okay, so what type of person are you? An early bird or a night owl? I am personally an early bird, but I have a feeling that night owl would be most popular. Callie is an early bird and Marie is a night owl. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna guess that people are night owls. Let's see. Wow, I really love the art for this one. The art is so beautiful for this. Like I genuinely love it. It's so lovely. Okay, so let's see who won. Holy, yeah, Night Owl won by a lot, a lot, a lot. Jeez, okay, I'm hurting. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I can have an unpopular opinion on that and I'm okay with it. And yeah, they ended up winning overall as well, so it is what it is. Okay, this is the hardest one. And actually, it's really interesting to see that this is the last one. It makes me feel like this is gonna be the final question for Splatoon 3. I don't know if this is common for all the Splatoons to kind of like end Splatoon, uh, whatever game you're on with which is your favorite idol essentially. So the question for this is which Splat sister is better? And you have to pick between Callie or Marie. Again, I have not played Splatoon 1, so it's hard for me to really know because I don't know their personalities. And from my experience with Splatoon 3, personalities make a big difference. Like I would probably have a favorite just based off of aesthetics, but because I've gotten to know the different idols, I like all of them pretty much equally, at least in Splatoon 3. Splatoon 2 I have a different opinion on, but I'll get that in the next video. But here, I would say, okay, just off of first initial impressions, I like Callie more than I like Marie. Like, okay, I like them both, but if I had to pick, I would pick Callie over Marie. And also, it looks like Callie and I shared a lot of commonalities. Yeah, we, we picked a lot in common. Uh, we picked cats, we picked art, pirates, burgers, I, I'm not gonna touch that one. Past uh, and Fancy Party and Early Bird. So yeah, I think Callie is it for me. Let's see who ended up winning. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, it looks like Marie ended up winning. So that's great for people who love Marie. And you know, it was it was kind of close, uh, pretty pretty close. But yeah, this has been really fun. I've had a great time going through each and every single Splatfest. Let me know what it is that you all think down below. I think actually I wanna talk a little bit more about the history of Splatfest after I finish this. Let me know what you all think about that. And uh, did we have similar ones? Did you disagree with me? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.